Well, we're back here at the bench. Uh, I've gone through, we've cleaned all of our parts uh, and put a slight coat of oil on them. And now we're going to put this back together. And there's a few things that are a little tricky about it. The one I hate the most is the, uh, the little ball bearing that goes under the safety. For some reason, I'm just clumsy enough to where I usually uh, fly it at all around the room. So I, I broke down and bought myself a, a package of these. It's got all the metric sizes. And you can see the one with the least uh, number of balls in it is this one right here. And that's the number two millimeter ball. And that's because this is the one that goes under the uh, safety. And the, I've lost so many uh, that, uh, you know, I got this. It's got 50 of them in there. And I probably used a third of them already. You would think that you'd find them on the floor, but I, I never do. So we're going to go ahead and start with the safety. Here it is there. Here's the spring and our little, come on out of there you, our two millimeter ball. And this little ball, like I say, has been the, uh, the bane of my existence in some ways. It's just really been hard to, uh, to get it to work. So I'm going to turn this around here. You can see there's, uh, this is on the bolt side of the receiver. Uh, this is the hole that uh, that um, you know if you were looking at this, this would screw into it. Uh, and this is the I mean they did put a hole here for the uh, uh, safety. And here's this little spring here, which the spring and I get along fine. And basically, you just drop it down in there. Oops. We used to get along fine. And it drops down, if you can see it. Close in a little bit more here. So there's the spring sticking up. So we have our spring in place. It's right here. And what we're going to do is put the ball on top hold it down with this plunger, cover it with the feeler gauge, and then hold the feeler gauge down as we move the safety in so the ball doesn't fly. And I've gone to uh, these, uh, these, this is fairly elaborate to put a doggone ball back into a hole, but um, it's not without experience that I go to great lengths here. So we have the uh, safety, um, this goes on the trigger. This piece goes on the trigger. And uh, basically, we're just going to set this in here like so. So that's ready to go. Like that. And that'll slide in. Slide into this groove here. Okay. Now we, we take the ball. Goes on the spring. And we hold it in place with our plunger. And we're almost ready. And there we go. We have our detent ball in place. And that's, a, like I say, that is a lot of effort. I've got three tools here. If I had a couple more hands, uh, that would be helpful as well. But uh, I've chased that little ball so many times that, that I'm just not going to fool around with it. We're going to get her done one way or another. Um, and there's your hammer. Now, what I tend to do next before I put the uh, hammer spring in hammer guide in is 
replace the bold. So we'll do the same thing. We'll burnish it with just a little bit of molly on it. We're going to install it the same way with the dimple facing up here into the receiver, like so. And if you recall, on the hammer, here's the hammer here. You can see it. Um, and that has to be behind the second lug in the bolt, the rearward lug. There's two lugs in the bolt. Here's one, and there's two. So the hammer has to be behind the second one. And then really all it is is just turning this around like so to, uh, to where we can engage the hammer now. You can see the hammer is behind that rear lug. And uh, just needs to be turned just so that this transfer port is facing pretty much straight up. Put the bolt handle back in so that we don't lose its, our position here. Don't have to tighten it all the way, but just get it in. So we're ready to put this in. The spring goes here in the front hole and then the ball on the spring. And it just fits in there. Now this ball, what we're going to end up doing is rotating the ball so that it puts tension on the bolt. It also puts tension on this and holds it in place while you're putting everything together. It's important to put the ball in at a kind of an angle. If you don't, if you put it in at this side it'll pop out this hole. If you put it in in this direction it'll pop out that hole. So you put it in sideways, put it in and then rotate until the screw hole is lined up with this hole and then push it into place. And you can hear that detent as the uh, ball holds this in place up against the bolt. We're ready to put the trigger back in. Now we're ready to put the bolt lug back. At this point, we'll check it. It cocks and it fires. So that's what we wanted. There's two lugs and the front of them right there. You have to tilt it into place. As you install it, we break. Like so. So from here, it's a simple matter of the barrel. Again, it can only be indexed one way because of the transfer port. The uh, whatever this piece is called here that screws into the barrel. The uh, this nut has to go up, or the screw has to go up. Like so. So what you'll look for in here is the, um, can you, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. That's the uh, transfer port in the barrel itself and you have to align that so it faces like this so that you can put your transfer port in and hold it in place. OK, 
Okay, the O-ring on the transfer port. Work it down in there until the O-ring's in the slot on the barrel. And you can hold it like this, put a little pressure and wiggle it just a little bit, and you can tell when it's in. So that's in place. We'll go ahead and tighten the barrel in with these grub screws here. Two kinds of grub. Then we'll put that into place, followed by the uh, regulator. And there you have it. Goes back into the stock. Reinstall the safety. Okay, the last thing we want to do is cycle the gun. I'll put this in here so we don't want to damage the uh, magazine return and see if the safety works first of all and it does and then see that it fires and it does so the gun is back together and ready to be tested for velocity and uh, I'll be doing that uh, and putting that into another video later but that's uh, basically a tear down and rebuild of the uh, BSA Super 10 I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching.